another example of how you solve mixture problems in, in algebra. So let's take a look at this one. It says here that a grocer sells peanuts for $3.20 a pound and a mix of fancy nuts for, for $5.60 per pound. He wants to make 20 pounds of a new mix that will sell for $4 per pound. How many pounds of each does he need? All right, just like with any other mixture problem, it's a good idea to represent each mixture by, by a box. So this represents the mixture with peanuts at 320 a pound. So this is peanuts. And the price per pound is 320 per pound plus the fancy mix. Okay, and this one sells for 560 a pound, so let's write that in here. 560 per pound. And when you add them together in some combination, you'll end up with the new mix. And that one will sell for $4 a pound. LB, pound. All right. Now, you're supposed to get 20 pounds of the new mix, so let's have 20 pounds right here. 20 pounds of the new mix. Uh, how many pounds do we need of the peanuts? We don't know. Let's call it X. And the remainder will have to be made up from the fancy mix. And so the total, 20 minus X, will give us the number of pounds for the fancy mix. All right. Now, how do you solve that? Notice if you multiply these two together, 20 pounds times $4 per pound, the pounds will cancel out, you'll end up with 20 times 4 or $80. That will be the total value of the new mix. If you have 20 pounds of a mix that is worth $4 per pound, that whole mix together will be worth $80. So we can see then that the value of this mix plus the value of this mix should add up to the total value of this mix. And to find the value of each mix, we simply have to multiply the price per pound times the number of pounds that we have. So we can write that 320 times X, which is the total value of this mix, the mix of peanuts, plus 560 times 20 minus X, which is the total value of this mix, should add up to 4 times 20, which is the total value of this mix. And now we solve for that equation, we can solve for x, and x will then let us know how much of each mix we need. Okay, before we work anything out, notice we have a decimal here, a decimal here, and a decimal there. Since the second decimal place are zeros, all we have to do here is multiply each side by the number 10. That will get rid of the decimal places. So multiply the left and the right side by 10. Remember, if you do exactly the same on both sides of the equation, nothing has changed. The equation is still true and as before. All right, 10 times 3.2 is 32, so we got 32 times x, plus 10 times 5.6 is 56, times 20 minus x is equal to 4 times 20, that's 80, times 10, that's 800. Okay, now we get rid of the decimals, uh, not the decimals, but the parentheses, so this is 32x, plus 56 times 20. 20 times 50 is 1,000, 20 times 6 is 120, so that's 1,120, minus 56 times x is 56x, equals 800. And now we're ready to go ahead and solve for x. Let's move all x's to one side, all the numbers to the other side. So we have 32x minus 56x equals 800 minus, when we bring the 1,120 across, that becomes a minus 1,120. 32 minus 56, that looks like 24, so minus 24x equals 800 minus 1120 is minus 320. And now dividing both sides by the coefficient of x, minus 24, minus 24, the minus 24 cancels out, and 32 divided by 24. Okay. How about dividing both sides by 2? That gives us 160 over 12. Divide both sides by 2 again. That gives me 80 over 6. Divide both sides by 2 again. That gives me 40 over 3. And 40 cannot be divided by 3. So 40 divided by 3 would be 13 and a third. All right. That means we need 13 and a third pounds of the peanuts. 
and the remainder 20 minus that for the fancy mix. So, solution or answer of the peanuts, we will need 13 and a third pounds. Of the fancy mix, we'll need 20 minus that. And 20 minus 13 and a third is 6 and 2 thirds pounds of the fancy mix. So if we mix 13 and a third pounds of peanuts with 6 and 2 thirds pounds of the fancy mix, we'll come up with a new mix that will sell for $4 a pound and we'll have 20 pounds of it. And that is how you do a problem like that.